So out here on the property, it's some low ground and there's some swamps. Um, and we're here in Florida and we had a hurricane come through the last couple of days. And now it's passed by, but we're gonna look and see how flooded it is. And I've got my saw in case I need to cut some branches or anything. There's probably going to be mosquitoes, so I got my mosquito spray on. I'm already seeing water. Oh, look at this. See, this is some higher ground right here. So, you know. I got on my swamp pants. That's what I call them. And my boots. So I can go on through. So this is one of our main roads. That's how deep the water is. I'm going to scoot on over because it's a little higher over here. You can see the flooding right there. And then straight up ahead, there's also a little bit of flooded mushroom. Once again, it's not very deep. You know, we were going to take the golf cart out here. It's a good thing we didn't because we would have had to turn right around immediately. There's the big field. It looks pretty good. Okay, this is one of the main roads. It looks pretty good, but you can see the creek right here. Well, this is one of the canyons that we drive through. Uh, there, yeah, we're not driving through that anymore. It'll dry up. We can also go to the one that's through the middle. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a gator or something. But, oh, wow, that is high, people. Look at this. That middle is probably two feet deep. You can see a trail over there. That's got some standing water. We'll go check that out. So this is high ground. It was built up. But take a look at this. Now this one's middle is about three feet deep. You see it gets lower and lower. So this one's middle is about three feet deep. And then that branch broke, but that's no big deal. Then the main creek, the fishing hole. Oh, dang. What the heck? Look at this. Unbelievable right here. Now, I had this pole in there. It's like a fence post, sort of, but it's a pole. And it was four feet high. Now you can't see it. I know where it is, but it's completely underwater. So that, this water's right in the middle. That's about four or five feet deep. Um, yeah, there's probably, well, I know there's a couple water moccasins in there. Uh, who knows what's in there? You don't want to know. All right, so we're coming up on the mud hole here. And I, I'm already seeing how flooded this is. Yeah, the only way to get out here right now is walking. And, you know, that's annoying because it's hotter than the devil's butt crack out here. So, yeah. So here's Powerline Road. This, um, 
this is high ground because over to the side of me in a minute it's going to drop down and there's a swamp that's man-made and the dirt from that was pushed up to make this but um here's one of our crossovers I'm gonna go on through because I can see the bottom. You probably know that you shouldn't walk in water where you can't see the bottom because you don't know what could be lurking in there. I could see the bottom and I checked. That's what I call the tricks of the swamp. <laughs> All right, speaking of the swamp, here we are. Oh my goodness phone went off well that must be my friend double texting me <laughs> um, this is the man-made swamp very low ground so yeah not messing around in there we're back on the power line road um, my boots are full of swamp water but you know I'm fine with that because you know I'm a redneck <laughs> um, well this used to be a trail I think so yeah that's a disaster just for reference we're walking around 50 acres out here uh, that's what we got uh, most of it is actually just like this no trails through it because, you know, there's some animals and whatnot. But, uh, we got over, at this point, it's probably a little over four miles of trails. Now, you can see the swamp. There's big old trees. Um, yeah, we used to be able to drive all through there. Uh, I don't think we'll be driving through there anytime soon. Okay, here's one of our trails that goes down in there. Down in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think the 254 wheeler will go through there. But I don't know if we want to mess around with that. Alright, here's our crossover. Uh. Yeah, I best not walk through there. Yeah, that's no good. We'll keep going down power line on the brand new trail. Um, check that out. If I didn't put on that mosquito spray, I'd be dead by now. Uh, but none of them are landing on me. I see them all around. All right. Here's the swamp. Yeah. Not going through there. And then... This road is also built up. It's an old pond dam. Because there's the swamp on one side and there's a pond on the other. Something's moving through the bushes. Nice. Like 40 years ago, somebody dumped a bunch of concrete out here. <laughs> Never got dealt with. Um, yeah, this is way back here. In the middle of nowhere. Wesley Chapel. <laughs> the woods of Wesley Chapel. Now, I don't see any difference in the pond. Uh, it's a little higher. This is what we call, well, its real name's Elliot Pond. We call it the Gator Pond. Yeah. I'll give you $20 if you swim in there. This is another junk barbed wire fence yet to be removed. There's the swamp. That's probably 10 acres of swamp. You see, even this crossover right here is flooded. And you know, we're here in the backwoods of Florida. We've got pygmy rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and a whole bunch of who knows what, a bunch of swamp critters. So, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, and I'm not really an expert, uh, you shouldn't walk through water where you can't see in. Look at this. 
snake hole or something. Yeah. All right, so we're heading back towards the creek. But this time we're gonna go look from the other side. Now just for fun, we're gonna look at the mud hole. Now I can see that bottom. That's probably about half a foot deep. Something about walking in that creek gives me the heebie-jeebies, so I'm not gonna mess around with that. Yeah, back here we got creeks, but they don't flow very much, so. <laughs> yeah, the critters like it. Now take a look at this. This is weird. Uh, all right, I see what we've got. So we're kind of stuck over here. Um, Cause, yeah, we're not turning around. Look at this. You can see there's another little miniature creek. right here we call this dusty we pull it behind the golf cart and it plows out the roads it's nice yeah this is this is deep kind of nasty water but feels good on my feet because <laughs> it's it's hot out here Oh, there's some cows. See them? No, you can't. What's this? Oh, nice. Old barbed wire. Wow. Now that's something. All right. Don't come to this property. 